We're going way back like a Cadillac on four flats. What was the four flats on Cadillac? Hmm. Play the intro. So, we're going back like a Cadillac on four flats, right? So what does that mean? We're going back to a clay bowl, back to four, back to coals on top of the four. No motors, no samsara's bowl, no apple on top. So you want to learn how to pack a hookah without all the fancy stuff? I'll show you how. So what we have today is Tangier Spirit Mint. Not experiment, spearmint. Totally different flavor. Sounds alike, but believe it or not, they are different flavors. So once again, I'm smoking Tangiers, and mainly because I'm using the Tangiers Predator Bowl. But I mean, you can smoke any shisha Predator Bowl. But since it's a Tangiers bowl, I'm gonna use the Tangiers shisha. So what you want to do is in like that now when you first start it's not gonna be pretty it's not gonna be perfect I said I've been smoking hookah for a while so I kind of know, you know how to pack and all that good stuff but it comes with time I mean like anything you do you have to practice at it to perfect it so what you pretty much want to do is you pretty much just want to put it in the bowl I mean with Tangiers, it does like to be packed down a little bit, but what you don't want is to actually have the shisha. What you don't want to do is, if you put your hand across, like if you can see here, the shisha is kind of above my hand. I don't know if you see it or not, but it's kind of above my hand. That's what you don't want, because if it's above your hand, that means the shisha is actually going to touch the foil, which the foil is the heat conductor, and you don't want that happening. So what you want to do, Kind of pack it down just slightly below the top of the bowl. I am missing a little bit more. You guys know I always show you close-up pictures when I'm done. And a little bit right there. Pack it in there. I'm gonna show you a close-up picture when I'm done to um, demonstrate how. You know how it looks when it's finished so it's not a race or anything it's not who can pack the bowl the fastest because I mean I can pack a bowl a lot faster than what I'm doing now but I don't want to rush through anything now I'm using my fingers now because it's just me for packing with my fingers sometimes now I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a picture of this and show you that it is a little bit Below the top of the bowl. I'm gonna try to demonstrate that pretty good here in this next picture. So, different shishas are gonna pack differently and gonna like to be packed differently. So, this is specific, really specific to Tangiers, which is a dark tobacco. Which, why is Papa Slim demonstrating how to pack a hookah with Tangiers when most people? Do not start out smoking Tangiers. I don't know. Because this is a goal. It's just like racing. You want a goal to meet. It's just like playing basketball. You want to see how good you're going to be or you can be. So, same thing with Shisha. You want to see how good you can be. Let me wash my hands. All right, so that's kind of how you want it to look. It's not perfect yet, because me, I like to get all that stuff from around the top of the rim now so it won't stick to the floor. So you just take a paper towel and wipe across the top and you're good to go. All right, so we got the bowl pack. What's next? Gotta put four on top. Now, my suggestion is to use Reynolds Wrap Heavy Duty Foil or Super Heavy Duty Foil, depends on what you're smoking. But a rule of thumb is you want to put it on the bowl, and you want to pull it tight, because you want it to be tight like a drum. So you 
want it to be tight like that. I don't want it to give off. So once that is done, you can use a hole poker, which is what this is, um, or you can use a thumbtack. Either one would do pretty much the same job. So what you want to do is go around and poke some holes all around the floor. Doesn't have to be perfect. I usually do two or three rings. Something like that. That's not really perfect, but you get the picture, right? Or do you get the picture? Where's the picture? There's the picture. So this is pretty much what you want to do. We're gonna poke some holes in and make sure that it's tight. After you do that, you gotta light your coals, right? Right. So let's show you how to light coals. All right. So we got the bowl pack, foil on it, holes, poke, coals, right? Right. So I'm using titanium cubits, but I know most people will probably try to find the cheapest coals that they can find. Honestly, I would not recommend that. I use titanium coals, which this is the uh, brand who makes cubits. I use titanium coals because they are pure coconut shells. Other coals, and I can I can attest to this, use what they call. Well, let's turn the coals on first. All right, so other coals use what they call fillers. So it could be wood or anything else in your coals. And that's what you were inhaling. And I know a lot of people are getting sick off of cheaper coals using fillers. Papa Slim doesn't want that. I want you to enjoy hookah. I want you to love hookah. I want this to become not just a hobby, but like me, a lifestyle. So you can use cheaper bowls if you'd like to start out. But please, please, please try to get you some titanium coals. It's worth it in the long run. So back to lighting coals. Now I'm using a blazing burner made by Hookah Tech. Now the blazing burner is a more advanced, hold on a little cricket. Oops. It's a more advanced <laughs> uh, coal lighter in that it's used fancy stuff, but pretty much the only difference between this coal lighter and another coal lighter is this is just a lot faster. That's it. That's the only difference between this and a regular hot plate. That's pretty much what they are. Coals, hot plates, whatever. So that's pretty much what this is. Well, not exactly, but anyway. We're not getting into the technical stuff. This lights coals. What you want to do is leave them on until they get gray on one side, flip them over until they get gray on the other side. After that, they're ready to smoke. Just that simple. So. In a previous video, I showed you guys how to set up a hookah using a Lotus, so I'm not gonna go through that today. But, I'm gonna smoke with you and talk to you. So give me one moment, I'm gonna wait till these coals light, we'll get finished setting up my hookah. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy our smoke together. Give me one moment, I'll be right back with you. So as you all can see, I got the bowl on the hookah, coals on top of the bowl, smoking good. I'm using a Narbeach hose. This host, you usually won't get one of these with your hookah. Uh, actually, you never get one of these with your hookah. Um, but the good thing about using like a Narbeach host, which is in the class of washable hoses, is you can take this mouthpiece off and run water through it to wash it out. That's very important. Now, you can't do that with all hoses. All hoses are not washable because some hoses contain um, metal in them, and you don't want to run water through metal. So it's best to go ahead and buy you a a washable hose, even if it's a cheap washable hose, three or four bucks, as long as it's washable, it's better than your normal hose that comes with your hoop. Now the hoop that I'm using is my single pair, one of my favorite hoopers, and the reason that I'm using this particular hookah today 
is because I want to demonstrate that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on hookah to get into hookah. Um, you can get a small KM, uh, which I do have one, about 22 inches. This is a 36 inch, but you can get a 22 inch small KM for uh, under 50 bucks sometimes. And it's a good hoop. I still use mine, especially for travel. You can get you a nice bowl. And to me, the most, the, the three most important things with hookah is your coals, the type of hookah you're using, and your host. Those are the three main things with hookah. All the other stuff can be wishy-washy. You can play with it and see how you like it. But those are the three major things you want to invest in. Your hose, your hookah, and your coals. So this is Papa Slim. Once again, showing you guys how to pack a hookah, set it up, smoke it, all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, this is Papa Slim. You guys have a great day, a great week, and great smoking. This spearmint is smooth. Huh. Boy, you got, boy, you got, come on, sure, come on, sure, come on, sure.